think of the JV team last year had a bunch of big kids on the line, didn't they? Yeah, we had a good old. That's it. Coaching at Civitan? No. Retired. Are you yeah. retired for good? I'm actually running the program now. Are you? Congratulations. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of those scenarios everybody has to do at once? Yeah. Type of thing? Yeah. But you know, Troy Judy left after 18 years. They went to move to Tennessee. So we got it? Troy did? Troy Judy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, her daughter's in Texas. She got married, had a baby, put a baby in Texas in the military. So they moved halfway. So he's been working in Tennessee for the last year anyway. So they finally decided to move. Oh, so you're doing what he was doing? Ooh. Me now you're a, still... Me and a four-person committee. You said you were at Nightdale now too, yeah, right? How's that going for you? Love it. Good. Absolutely. It's awesome. Good. Awesome. Ten weeks now, eleven weeks now, and it's starting to get more, more in depth. The first ten or eleven weeks of this familiarization. Yeah. Now it's here we go. Good. I mean, I got a million dollar road resurfacing project I'm working on now. Don't we just Fred Smith? That was all the verbal and publicity. Yeah, I want that. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm sure they'll bid on it when I put it out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sure, they'll bid on it. I'm working on that. I mean, I've, July 1 is the end of our fiscal, our start of our new year. So I had to renegotiate, you know, 20 agreements with other vendors and suppliers and stuff. Well, if Clark Pavement Marketing comes up, he's a good dude. Yeah. They're one of the bigger guys in the, in the area. But they just paint. You say oh, they yeah. just paint? They're, they're the marking. Oh, yeah. you know, they don't do the road. They well, just we, we actually have one of those bids coming out now for Wide Waters. When you go into downtown, right there, right there across from the, from yeah. the big one. Wide Water Park, we got to we restrike that. So, yeah, they're based out of Apex. Out. He used to be a regular of mine back in my Charlie's days. Yeah. He actually started his company. He lost his leg. Oh, like really? Right here. 
So, but yeah, and then the next company I worked for, he actually was a client of theirs already, which is kind of ironic. But a very good deal. Yeah. So it's funny, I was playing around on eBay the other day, I actually saw a few of uh, Jake Austin's minor league cards. Oh, really? I was laughing about that. I was just trying to think of all the different coaches that I recalled that said they played in the minors. He was the only one I could find, at least in the Clayton area. He actually had one year he hit 300, too. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. How is the how's the baseball card business on trading? Oh, I stay away from that. I've, I've boxed up that million amount of cards I got. I don't do anything with it hardly anymore. I ended up um, it's all it's all the graded stuff now. Yeah. So and if it ain't signed by somebody, it really isn't worthwhile unless it's a rare deal. I ran across a dude who's son had probably literally 100,000 cards. I have, complete, I have complete, complete 1.5 million. Oh. He's got complete, complete box, box sets. All he said, said, he said, figure out what you want to do. If you want to do them, I said, I'll take them, I'll split them, and we'll, we'll do whatever. But you told me about this. Did yeah. you do anything with this? We're still talking. Yeah. Okay. I opened up a book, three Barry Bonds rookie cards in pristine. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately. <laughs> No. It's very <laughs> exactly. But everything now is the specialty cards but that they give. There's also three or four Griffies as well. Which could be, yeah. could be good. Really? Really? Back in the mid 80s, right? The cutoff was 85. Okay. After 85, the market exploded by the amount that they flooded. Oh, yeah. And it happened until about in, right around 94. They still have the same amount of cards, but then that's when they kind of started with the autograph, yeah. you know, rarities and stuff like that. And then in the early 2000s, they ended up doing the limited edition, okay. like out of five, one out of one. Mm -hmm. And 